Well, in the arts this weekend, um, there's a lot going on. June is a busy time. Our summer festivals haven't started up yet, but um, a lot of the other bigger groups are closing out their seasons. Um, one of the most interesting classical music events is the Stravinsky Plus series that's going to be happening at the VSO. That's the Vancouver Symphony Orchestra. And what's unusual about this is to hear all of these Stravinsky works within a short period of time over the course of a week. Usually uh, an orchestra will play Stravinsky maybe once in a mixed program over the course of a year. So um, this is really a great event for fans of that composer. Um, the Rite of Spring is one of the the key pieces that the VSO will be taking on. And what's interesting is when it debuted uh, a couple hundred years ago, it was just hated by everyone and it, it caused a huge commotion and it was very controversial. And now it's um, accepted as, as something great and, and we can really see it for what it is. It's a complete challenge to play for an orchestra, so that'll be interesting to see the VSO take it on. And um, you'll also be seeing other great works by Stravinsky, such as the the firework, the Firebird, over the next couple of weeks. So um, it's it's a real opportunity to um, for the VSO to really dig into a composer and and uh, have a lot of fun presenting his work. Bramwell Tovey will be the conductor. And um, it should be an interesting series. And it's something new for the VSO that they're trying so um, to concentrate and sort of spotlight one composer. So it's a fun thing to do in June when all the sort of uh, visiting artists are, are kind of over and, and we can enjoy a show like that. The other show that's going on is called Slowpoke um, that I wanted to tell you about. It's by a local theater troupe called Radix Theater. And um, how it started was that the two artists behind the work, Billy Marchensky and Allison Denham, went to the Chernobyl exclusion zone. That's the 30 kilometer radius zone in Ukraine where the the reactor sort of blew up and there was a huge nuclear disaster, actually the worst nuclear disaster that's ever happened in history even compared to Fukushima. So they went there um, a few years ago and um, took a bunch of pictures and kept diaries and now they've come back and they've created a show around it. What's kind of interesting is um, a couple months after they applied for funding to create the show Fukushima happened so how they couldn't possibly have known how relevant um, all this material would be and what they told me in an interview was that if they had if they had done a work on Fukushima it probably would have been too fresh but looking at Chernobyl happening a few decades ago it's a good way to um, sort of have some perspective on what's happening at Fukushima. In fact, you could see the exclusion zone as sort of how Fukushima might look in 25 years. So this piece is interesting. It's being put on in Russian Hall and um, it it's almost like a travelogue. They show slides up on a big projector, but there's also dance and theater and there's traditional Ukrainian music. There's a hurdy-gurdy player. So um, it's a very complex piece with a lot of storytelling. They tell me there's a lot of humor in it too because their trip on a tourist bus into the exclusion zone was actually very absurd and some very terrifying and sometimes funny things happened there. So it should be an interesting piece to check out this weekend. So on one end you've got a great uh, sort of composer in Stravinsky. You can go explore that or you can go to something a little more alternative at R Russian Hall to see what's going on there with this multimedia piece Slowpoke.